or at least almost. We have about four hours to go here in the UK until it hits midnight on the 1st of January 2015, thus marking a new year in the Gregorian calendar. Uh, here on Ramblings with Rebecca, uh, we thought we'd pop in, say hello, and happy holidays once again, uh, and wish everyone all the best for 2015, uh, and I hope that your 2014 uh, was filled with more happy moments than sad. Um, and to make this slightly educational, <laughs> as close as any of these ever get, um, I thought we would talk about the traditional tune of <laughs> The, of New Year's holidays, um, at least in the Western world, um, but I'm guessing all of you, regardless of where you are, are vaguely familiar uh, with this tune, and even more vaguely, um, aka less clearly, <laughs> aware of the words. Um, I'm referring to Old Lang Syne. Um, Should old acquaintance be forgot, da 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 that song that no one ever remembers and we all forget the words but we all feel completely obliged to sing it all the time and then so you know and other people get drunk and so it just clearly becomes more and more of the da 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 so what the heck is this song actually um it is quite nostalgic it, it, the song fits new year's in a lot of ways um but it but it works better if you know what you're saying um, so it's a Scots poem that, I'm sorry, my hair is crazy, um, written by Robert Burns, you know, that romantic figure of Scotland. Um, I mean, he has like a whole holiday in Scotland. Um, 1788, right? So we're talking like just after America has uh, been declared independent and, you know, a kind of still very much British Empire, rah, rah, rah. Um, and, you know, here's our romantic poet and, you know, the days of Britain's glory. Um, the song actually starts with a rhetorical question, which is, should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Translated. Um, with a question mark. Okay. So it, it, the question, so the question, the, the, the poem, the song is now asking is, when we have, you know, old friends, you know, or whatever, like, I mean, should we, you know, forget about them? Basically, right? I mean, so it, it's a song about, should we remember? How do we remember? What does that mean? And it goes on and on to go. Um, so the actual Scots verse, which I will not try to say in Scots because that would be really bad. Uh, should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should old acquaintance be forgot and old lang syne? Um, it is old lang syne, not old lang syne. A lot of us say sign with like with the Z instead of the Z for some reason. Uh, and then the chorus goes, for old Lang Syne, my Joe, for old Lang Syne, we'll tack a cup of kindness yet for old Lang Syne. Um, what that means is, should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should old acquaintance be forgot and days of long ago um, or yesterday? You know, I mean, the past basically is what the song, what, what the title old Lang Syne means. And the chorus is, for days of long ago, for yesterday, my dear. For days of long ago, we'll take a, cu a cup of kindness yet. We'll, you know, we'll toast, we'll cheer, we'll remember for days of long ago. Um, the verses go on to recall very nostalgically moments of running, to, like frolicking about mountains and picking flowers and, and canoeing. Well, I mean, you know, canoeing, paddling around the rivers um, and, and spending long days together you know, in very romantic settings. Um, romantic in, in, in not necessarily the, the lovey dovey, you know, I stare into your eyes as a soulmate, um, romantic love kind of ways, right? But the, the romance of the poets, right? I mean, the very grandiose, you know, like, isn't this what everyone wants to do on their holidays kind of definition of romance. Um, so essentially it starts with this, like, should we remember? And then it moves into, yes, we'll remember. Let's remember. Oh, now we're remembering. And let's be sure that we keep this up. Cheers, yay, hurrah. Um, and ends with a proper, like, here's to you, mate, kind of thing. Um, so, with all that being said, um, next time the song comes on, uh, you know, grab your phone and Google really quick and actually sing the lyrics if someone's actually singing instead of going da 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 But if you want to da-da-da-da-da, that's true too, because I think that's now part of our holiday traditions in several countries, is to, you know, mutter your way through it. Um, so regardless of how well you can or cannot make it through the old Scots lyrics, um, cheers to you, my friend. I don't actually have a drink. Um, but cheers to you, and here's for a very happy and prosperous and delightfully fun of adventure and learning 2015. Happy New Year!